Hey guys, um, welcome to your energy check-in. Uh, this is going to be for Capricorn for the first half of your January from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Um, so we're going to take a look at your over energies. Uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of your month. And then uh, we'll take a look to see what the uh, possible outcome and advice are and what else you guys need to know. Uh, keep in mind that this could be in anything, love, romance, relationships, friendships, family, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development. We will see what the cards pick up. Um, and also, uh, keep in mind that uh, you could apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want. Uh, it could be a situation where you know someone who's going through this. Um, and also, uh, this is just a general reading, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone uh, that you know that needs to hear this and leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, and for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Capricorn. Well, let's get started. Over energies for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know regarding the, fir the first half of their January from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does Capricorn need to know here? We have the Fool and the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like you're trying to take a risk here regarding your work and your career. So I don't know if you're looking for a new job or that you're looking for, um, or that you're taking an offer here uh, in regards to uh, work or money. Uh, maybe there's an increase in pay. You could, there could be, you know, um, um, an opportunity uh, for a promotion. We have the star in the Knight of Swords. So, energies I'm getting here, Aries, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart. I mean, there's this energy of methodically pursuing something new here re regarding your work. Maybe some of you guys might be doing the, uh, uh, um, uh, or pursuing uh, something along the lines of giving back to people and helping others here. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like you're thinking about it a lot. You know, um, Capricorn could be an energy that's really methodical. You know, they, you know, Capricorns tend to want to, you know, pursue things that, um, that last. Okay, so I feel like right now, I feel like you might be taking your time in, um, you know, um, taking this, uh, taking your time and taking this opportunity here. It's like this energy of, you know, I'm going to take my time, but I feel like you want to seize this opportunity here too. You know, we have the Eight of Swords here. So I feel like you're constantly on your mind thinking about it. Or thinking about, you know, if this is worth it, you know, or should I wait for it to come to me, that sort of thing. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Fool. Why is the Fool here? Tell me about the Fool. Why is the Fool here? Why is the Fool here? Why is the fool here? Tell me what's fool. Why is a fool here? Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Knight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with another Capricorn here, okay? In and around you. The Eight of Swords. I feel like you're thinking about this a lot. It seems like there's something that you want to pursue here, but maybe scared to do it. Could be a money issue. You know, some Capricorns are not really known, uh, or some Capricorns are not really known to take risk here. It would take a lot for them to take that risk. Um, the thing is, for Capricorns, it, it's something that has to be long lasting here. You know, it has to be sustainable for them. So that's the most important thing for a Capricorn. Um, the star, ooh, two of cups here. 
This could also be in regards to a relationship here too. Knight of Swords. Oh, we have the tower here. Okay. So you know what, Capricorn? You could also be healing from a relationship here too. Something that ended here. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like, you know, through this change that you went through here regarding your relationship, I feel like you're trying to pursue new things here uh, so that, you know, maybe you could heal or, you know, you could take your mind off it or something like that. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're having a hard time deciding about this. Mm. You know, the two is here about making a decision. Ace of Swords. And the Nine of Wands. Seems as though you're tired of maybe not getting the clarity that you're looking for here. You know, the Four of Cups. No, I feel like you should go for what you want to go for. But I feel like there's a fear that you might fail here. You know, I think it's time to see this opportunity because if you don't do it, you never know. You know? I mean, you could be in this very indecisive energy here. Money could be an issue, perhaps. Uh, but it seems like you're going through a, few, a couple of things here, uh, Capricorn. What else do we have for Capricorn here? Outcome and advice for Capricorn regarding their situation for uh, January, for the first half of their January, from the 1st to the 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What else does Capricorn need to know here? What else does Capricorn need to know? Two of Cups, Leo energy, could be dealing with a Leo here. You might have Leo in your chart. You have the Six of Wands and the Empress, okay? Libra Taurus energy. And the Six of Wands, and then we have the Ten of Swords and the Tower here. Mm. You have a Tower here two times. There's some sort of ending here com coming to an end regarding your relationship. I'm feeling like something wasn't strong enough to hold your relationship together. You know, I feel like you're trying to manifest maybe a new relationship or trying to manifest this relationship back. Maybe you were not ready to end this yet. But it seems like this might have ended very abruptly. You know, I do feel like there is this energy of seizing an opportunity to achieve for yourself regarding this Ace of Pentacles here. So it's like there's something new that you're trying to pursue or that you're trying to take a leap forward towards, but there's this energy of having some sort of fear here. Strength. I mean, it could be, um, it could also be a fear of maybe pursuing a new relationship here too. The Strength card. We have the Five of Pentacles. Seems like someone here is going to get left out in the cold. Two of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, there could be a soulmate connection that's coming to an end here. Or is abruptly ending. Or someone here is abruptly rushing away or running away. Six of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands again. Seems like this tower moment has happened multiple times and I feel like someone here is tired of this not being successful or things not changing. Empress. You have the two of wands here. So I feel like someone here is having a hard time making a decision about something here. Maybe making a decision walking away from something. Or... Or just having a hard time making the decision to actually seize the opportunity to take on something new or seizing the opportunity to have this new beginning for themselves. Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. There's definitely some sort of disappointment here. 
you know, there's some disappointment, some pain, some hurt about an ending that happened very quickly. The tower and the sun. The thing is, I feel like there's going to be some sort of happiness here. I do feel like that this situation that you're going through regarding your relationship, I feel like it's a blessing in disguise because I feel like it's going to allow you the opportunity for you to grow, evolve, and, and basically pursue the things that you've always wanted to pursue. Uh, so, yeah, look. Ten of Swords here. So whatever happened here with the Tower moments, it's definitely a blessing in disguise because this is going to allow you to uh, come into your own. I feel like you'll be able to um, uh, do things, things that you've never been able to do before, Capricorn. Okay? So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.